Today, Call of Duty Next kicked off in some style, showcasing tons of new features and gameplay coming to Black Ops 6. So today we're going to go through everything you need to know for the multiplayer experience in Black Ops 6. The gameplay you see in the background here is just some I've pulled from either Westy's stream or just from the COD Next stream itself. First thing you may notice when watching any of the gameplay is the movement. Obviously Black Ops 6 is introducing this omnidirectional style of play, allowing players to run in any direction, backwards, forwards, side to side, diagonal, also including sliding and diving. This I feel will take some time getting used to and of course once mastered you can expect to see some crazy clips of people zooming around the map and getting crazy plays. The classic prestige system is returning and apparently each prestige will revolve around different COD titles. For instance the first prestige will be connected with World at War and the emblems associated with that title and there will be a secret reward at master prestige level 1000. So if you're someone like me who has always loved a big prestige grind you're in luck. Emotes and sprays are also returning if you remember member from Modern Warfare 2019 and the winner's circle at the end of multiplayer games will be returning too, something we've seen quite a bit of in the past with Treyarch and Black Ops titles where the winning team can taunt their enemies at the end of the game. New to COD this year is the custom HUD option and all the various presets that come with that. So of course you can have the standard HUD on screen now or you could have it inverted so your minimap is on the right. You can have all the icons in the middle of your screen instead of on the bottom to truly make it your own experience and work with your style of play. We also got all 16 brand new 6v6 multiplayer maps named, eight of them being playable during the beta weekends. We've got Protocol, Payback, Skyline, Lowtown, Subsonic, Rewind, Scud, Red Card, Babylon, Derelict, Vokuta, Vault, Stakeout, Gala, Pit, and Sandhouse, which looks to be a remake of the fan favorite Nuketown from the picture available there. Treyarch have also said that these maps have been designed in the classic three lane style that we all know and love and we also got some hints that some further fan favourite maps will be making a return during different seasons so one to keep an eye on. Before we carry on I don't have a sponsor for you I'm not that sort of channel but if you're new around here I will be making the best Black Ops 6 beta and full game tips, tricks and weapon loadouts along with the usual Warzone and Zombies content in the future so I'd appreciate if you'd stick around and hit the like button as it helps me out a ton along with subscribing and leaving a comment down below. Now, let's get back into the details. We also got official confirmation that ranked play will be returning earlier than ever before to multiplayer in season one. We normally have to wait sometimes until season two or season three around that February, March time for this, but Treyarch have been putting in the work over the last four years to get this ready for near release, which is pretty cool. We got a new in-depth look at the new perk system come to Black Ops 6 multiplayer, where we get the different tiers of perks, but in those tiers, we get these colored perks you can see. And if you match, let's say three green perks together, that will give you a bonus fourth perk as a speciality so you can really hone in on your style of play and maybe come up with some unique combinations and of course there is a wild card perk which let's say can allow you to have up to eight attachments on any weapon after watching numerous people and the general feedback so far it seems that the ttk is that of similar to cold war but maybe slightly faster as you can definitely tell just by watching some of the gunfights it looks a little bit longer than we're used to another awesome change to me comes with the attachments and it seems that on nearly all attachments cons on them will be very very minimal and in most cases won't have any cons just pros so it really opens up the build opportunities you could say okay I want to have fast moving and ADS speed but oh no my recoil control is horrible but that shouldn't happen now and you can really build your perfect loadout. They also touched on a new big audio change, I'll believe it when I see it, but here's how they describe it. We've implemented new immersive audio tech in Black Ops 6 that allows players to hear gunfire and footsteps clearer than ever in a Black Ops game. This includes a new reverb and echo system that dynamically adjusts the echoes of sounds based on the environment around you. We're also prioritizing how you hear teammates when you need to hear them to reduce confusion and friendly fire. And of course, I will have the best audio settings video for you out this weekend after getting my grubby little hands on the beta. And we also got our first look at the mastery cameras for multiplayer, zombies, and even Warzone. Yes, you heard that right. There are mastery cameras exclusive to Warzone. While we have a quick look through these, it's not yet clear what the challenges will be to unlock these, but I'm hoping it's more of towards what we had last year of Modern Warfare 3 camo grind, where it's not overly difficult to get some and you don't have to spin in a circle, knife the air and get a javelin no scope 30 times in one match sort of deal. There's still so much to digest with zombies and war zones still to come, but I'll leave it there for this one. For the best Black Ops 6 content, stay tuned and hit that subscribe button.